The latest episode of Chicago Fire is out, and they just dropped one of the biggest plot twists ever. For those of you who haven't watched Season 11's Episode 3, we advise caution, there are major spoilers ahead. The show killed off one of the main characters, but fans think they're bluffing. Let's find out how in today's video. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you are prompted whenever we upload our next video. So without any more delay, let's jump into it. First up, who died? That's it, Hawkins is dead. No way he survives all those injuries from the building falling on top of him, right? Fans have found some convincing arguments to say he isn't really dead. Could it be? Well, if what the fans noticed is actually true, it would be very awkward for the production team. Evan Hawkins was a chief of the Chicago Fire Department and had a secret relationship with Violent Bakami. In an episode named Show of Force, he saw her save a newborn baby and awarded her a medal in one of the many heartwarming scenes involving those two. As of the Fire Cop episode, they were officially a thing and the fans loved them. They were now in a relationship but decided not to tell everyone about their love life. This secret romance was still going strong and just as they were starting to get comfortable enough to tell people, Hawkins died from rubble falling on top of him. This happened in the latest season, and although the show showed his dead body and everything, the fans aren't quite sure what to believe. Some say he is still alive and will come back. They have the facts they need to back their claims up too. Up next, could he truly be alive? The reasoning they give for him being alive has nothing to do with the world portrayed in the show. It is the human aspect of it. During filming, some pictures emerged showing Evan and Violet on a date in a park. The actor himself was guilty of having posted behind the scenes images online showing his character in a setting that has not yet been seen on the show. Those images meant that, at some point in the season, we would see Evan and Violet go on a date in a park, and considering we didn't see them do it before Chief Hawkins died, fans presume he will be back, if nothing else, then for the date. If this is true and the production team has made the mistake of allowing those images to reach the fans, they would be kicking themselves. Being unpredictable is one of the main focuses of such shows, and having one of their biggest plot twists be called for the bluff it could potentially be would be a real pain in the neck. Don't get us wrong, we, more than anyone, would love to see him make a grand appearance and return to his partner Violet. If that's what the creators planned, that is what they should do, as that would make fans happiest. Having fun? Well, this is just the start. Stay with us till the end to learn all you need to know about the future of Chief Hawkins. Or could it all be a hoax? This is all based on the assumption that they didn't just decide to scrap that whole scene to save time. These shows tend to do that. They shoot way too much, but when it comes to editing and fitting all the footage into the allotted time, they scrap many insignificant scenes. If all all that scene had was the two having a lovely evening and didn't really have many plot details or important dialogue related to the overall story, it wouldn't be a complete surprise if it was left out of the final version. Other than that, there is also the possibility that they weren't shooting the scene in real time. Maybe that scene comes into the show later in the season, when Violet, remembering her lost love, has a flashback to that lovely night in the park. If we didn't have the idea of Hawkins being alive, we would have loved seeing him in that flashback. But now that the only chance of Hawkins being alive depends on that one scene, seeing it feature in a flashback would seem like a waste of a scene. We envy the people who haven't heard the speculation. They can watch the flashback with tears in their eyes rather than disappointment, or maybe even see Hawkins come back from the dead without having these half-spoilers. The reactions of someone who has no idea and someone who knows about the date in the park will surely be different, right? There is, unfortunately, another unsatisfactory explanation for the scene in question. Like the flashback theory, we could see the scene featured in one of Violet's dreams. This would be tougher to take than the flashback because if it is a dream, it means it never even happened happened. And the final explanation we could come up with is perhaps the most annoying. Sometimes creators go as far as changing major parts of the story just to surprise the audience. This is a dangerous trait to have as a creator since, these days, all sorts of plot lines are seen on various websites on the internet. Some obsessed fan is bound to come up with a theory that resembles what the creator had planned. Changing it at the last minute just to be unpredictable can make the quality take a hit, and we're sure all of you Game of Thrones fans agree that quality is better than surprise. Whether the showmakers will change the storyline because fans have cracked the puzzle, we will find out. But according to our theories, there is a 1 in 5 chance of Chief Hawkins being alive. May the odds be ever in our favor. Next up, Jimmy Nicholas comments on his character's death. Jimmy's activity on Twitter soon after the episode was released all but cements his character's fate. We've seen actors thank the fans for their support and love before, but almost all of those instances took place once their part on the show was done. Nicholas said, You are all so unbelievably kind. I feel truly spoiled and incredibly grateful. Doesn't bode well for people hoping he would return to the show. It feels more like a final goodbye than a fake one. Fans were so desperate for a thread to grab onto that the next tweet he made saying, we'll all push through together, made them jump to conclusions yet again. We saw quite a few people replying to this tweet, explaining their theories of how Hawkins will push through in the ICU and survive his accident. It has to be said, those words do sound a bit peculiar. If he is faking being done with the show and comes back in an episode or two, it will be the biggest psych anyone has ever pulled, and though that would make for an amazing spectacle, our hearts wouldn't be able to take it. 
it. We don't care about all the facts that prove Hawkins is dead. As long as there is even an outside chance of him returning to Violet, we will keep dreaming, especially after seeing the heartbreaking moment of Violet trying to save him after the building collapsed on him. Now that we mentioned it, the scene where Violet sits over Hawkins' dead body has also been under the fan's magnifying glass. Some spotted that Hawkins didn't have any substantial injuries on his head, which spun into a theory of his own. People started speculating that he would survive his injuries and still be on the show. The Chicago paramedics will have to do a hell of a job to take Jimmy's tweets back and put him back into the show, but maybe they can pull it off and convince Jimmy to be like, fooled you guys? Who are we even kidding at this point? And then, should we just accept it? We should probably just concede that all the facts are against our hopes. Maybe we should just thank Jimmy for his efforts and look forward to all the other stuff this show has to offer. Violet may have a broken heart for now, but she will be determined to do her chief proud and be the best version of herself. Maybe we will even see her take up the chief post in her partner's footsteps. On top of that, if we were to just give up on our dreams of seeing Jimmy Nicholas back on the screens, we would enjoy the potential flashback Violet will have of the two of them going on a date in a park. Those moments will warm hearts all over the world and will be a fitting tribute to Chief Hawkins. So after this video, make sure you go and give love to Jimmy's tweets and thank him for entertaining us all this time. All we can do is hope the show does the character of Chief Hawkins justice, be it reviving him or featuring him in a wholesome flashback or dream. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. We'll keep hoping for Chief to survive while you tell us what you think the creators would do in the comments. Please click the like button if you liked the video and if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye and have a great day.